driest hair types. Oh my god, that's kind of all the things us bleached hair girls need. Add body while fighting frizz. I'm really not sure how they would go about that. Come on, Oplex. Oh, la gente. What is up, my people? Welcome to yet another video. Everybody kept DMing me about this product. The new Oplex 4-in-1 Professional Moisture Mask. I guess we could say this is the professional version of Oplex number 8. It's supposed to be way more powerful and hydrate and deep condition even the worst, driest hair types. Sign me up. Like I said, this is for professional use. And because of that, of course, it was super tricky for me to get it. Just this morning, my hair colorist came home and I asked her to go in with the bleach. Although I haven't seen the final result yet because I asked her not to blow dry my hair. As you can see, it looks like I'm a lot blonder. So of course, she used my Oplex number one together with the bleach and then I left Olplex number two for about an hour on my hair. Why am I even bringing this up? Well, for two reasons. The first one is that by going a little bit blonder today, I'm sure my hair needs all the love and care it can get. And hopefully the 4-in-1 will be great to complete that. And the second one is that in the directions at the back, it says use for extra hydration after a standalone treatment and even though i didn't exactly get a standalone treatment i did use oplex one and two just a couple of hours ago of course infused with the uh, patented oplex bond building technology we have a fertile soil so to speak to make the most out of this fun fact oplex hasn't released a professional product ever since 2014. It has caused quite a stir and lots of expectations for professionals and uh, well, we we always want those professional products too. I'm gonna link my review of Oplex number eight. We might do a comparison kind of side by side thing if you guys want on an upcoming video. But just for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on the Oplex 4-in-1. The first thing I want to say is thank you. I just love the packaging, the pump, and the very decent sizing. I want my consumer products to be this big. There's 370 mils or 12.55 fluid ounces of product in here. Ah, okay, that's one pump. Who doesn't want a very nice pump? It says here use one pump for mid-length Hair. And this is my favorite part, adjust as needed. So they are kind of allowing us to decide how much product we need. And I love when I'm giving that license. Oh my God, this smells a little bit like Oplex number six. It has kind of that tangerine smell. And indeed you can feel the texture is very concentrated. There's something really different about the texture. I wasn't expecting that. A little bit sticky. Oh, we're gonna look into the ingredients because now I'm curious. So I'm going to be applying probably a lot more than a pump. My hair is pretty long. And I'm gonna go fairly close to the root just because as you can see, I just had all those highlights done. Dump hair is the way to go. So I'm gonna keep my spray bottle. And if I feel that because I'm filming this, um, some of my hair has become a little bit drier, then I'm gonna spritz some water like I just did. And I always feel that massaging the products makes a very big difference. Sometimes I'm a little bit lazy and, or in a hurry. I just don't take the time to do it. And I do notice that products don't perform the same. Okay, so as we are applying this, let's do a quick recap of the product claims. Of course, it's a moisture mask, so it's supposed to really turn around your dryness and just give you very deep hydration. And the other three claims are smoothness, shine, and body. Can't wait to see if this mask actually delivers that because 
that's kind of all the things us bleached hair girls need like even if you don't have my texture which is pretty frizzy naturally uh, i'm pretty sure anyone that bleaches their hair experience severe dehydration frizz and dullness so oh that's what i felt was so silicone and sticky it's dimethicone wow. this product contains tons of it it's the second ingredient right after water um that's interesting so here's the thing different people feel very differently about silicones in their products you should know that i have reached out to oplex in the past about silicone content and they assured me that even though their product line contains silicones, they were all absolutely soluble. Combing through with my Oplex detangler, not only because detangling the hair when it has product on tends to cause a lot less breakage, and we have to remember that my hair is particularly sensitized. I know that I've gone even blonder and I have almost like white <laughs> highlights on my hair. So I need to be particularly gentle. If you use like um, dimethicone primers for blurring out your imperfections like I do, you have to be familiar with the texture that dimethicone has. So when you feel this in your hands, it's going to feel familiar. Then the other ingredient is cetyl alcohol, avocado oil, glycerin, stereo alcohol. I'm not gonna name them all because honestly I'm not qualified to evaluate the formulation, but I'm gonna mention that it also contains a little bit of amodimethicone. <laughs> they feel so soft and it's not surprising because if you look at your skincare ingredients chances are many of them contain dimethicone as well it contributes to kind of filling in those lines just like a primer also silicones are recommended for very frizzy hair because they do create a barrier against humidity just crucial for porous hair that will you know just absorb that humidity and kind of poof, instant lion mane as long as we use a clarifying shampoo maybe every two weeks whenever you use a treatment that really needs to penetrate the hair fiber you know that's a good way to reset things of course this is going to be a very rough estimation because it does say that you need to adjust the amount you apply to your hair as you see fit but it's saying here that for professionals each bottle should contain over 100 applications i guess i'm gonna have to update you guys on that because i cannot really see how much product I've used. I'm really interested to see how they're going to add body while fighting frizz. I'm really not sure how they would go about that. Generally speaking, um, products that are successful in taming my hair and smoothing it out tend to wait a little bit and hence I lose a little bit that volume that we all strive for. <laughs> interesting it's not saying how long you should have this on so i think i'm gonna try to see if my friend google helps me cool so it says that just 10 minutes will do that's all the time it needs to process so i'm gonna set the timer to 10 minutes um i guess that's really good news for just about anyone professionals clients and as consumers that do this at home. Unfortunately, everybody's always in a rush. Come on, Oplex, give me all that magic and hydration. Also stay tuned because I wanna see how my hair color looks now. The big reveal, the transformation I've gone through this morning. Even with my hair wet, I do notice I'm a lot blonder, so that's good news. I know it may seem a little bit counterintuitive, but you have to remember that I'm in the southern hand atmosphere and here spring is just around the corner so we all want to go a little bit lighter although if you ask me i think lighter shades of blonde are just very chic all year long regardless of the season all right 
Time is up, my friends. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this. Okay, so I don't know if it's because it's never been washed before, but these Daphne turban feels like cashmere. So um, we're gonna see if it actually delivers those four claims. I was really thorough when rinsing this one out just because I know that I've gone really close to the root. I did, after all, have a root touch up today and I wanted those roots to receive some of that love and care and I really didn't want crazy roots or anything looking dull. I wouldn't say this was complicated to rinse so if I had to rate the difficulty of rinsing this out maybe it's like um maybe 2.5 stars out of five it's really in between so you can feel its presence but it's not too much i don't know if that makes sense to you guys but so i do see some tangle and of course i'm using this oplex detangler to finish I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I was very thorough. I did rinse out the mask kind of upside down. May be partially to blame for the fact that I do have some tangles. I was expecting less. You have to remember that at the beginning of this video when I was applying, I did go through with this brush as well when I had the mask on. So uh yeah you know what this kind of reminds me of right now the moroccan oil intense hydration one which is so good i'm gonna check later but i'm pretty sure that one also contains dimethicone just surprised at how strong my hair is feeling right now after all that bleaching this morning and it doesn't feel like stretchy gummy or like bubble gum you know so it's a relief because i am going lighter and of course i'm taking every single precaution i can take in doing so and you guys know wet hair is kind of at its uh, weakest points so if it is feeling strong now it's definitely a good sign that all oplex products are doing their job correctly if you're interested we may do a follow-up video for air dried results i'm going to be adding my favorite mix which is oplex number six Oh my god, I really need to order a new one. So that's a dime-sized amount. I'm going to add four drops of number seven, the heat protectant. Spread this through my hair as much as possible. So granted, we are giving this hair mask the absolute best chance because I am using it in combination with the rest of the routine. Remember that the rest of the products I'm applying in this video are not particularly deep conditioning. So if we get any hydration, any deep conditioning action, it's definitely going to be all thanks to Oplex 4 in 1. The 1 and 2 definitely do not target any of the things that the 4-in-1 targets. If you ask me, they did need a good companion. All right, let's go ahead and blow dry really fast. I'm gonna use my Elhin 3900. I just had to pause. This is actually not bad at all, considering I'm just kind of blast drying my hair, promising. So let's wrap the blow drying up and see if I change my mind. I'm done blow drying. Oh my God. First of all, I just love my new highlights. I feel super blonde. This is the after for you guys. Here's with a lighter shade of blonde and so much bleach comes more responsibility. I have quite a few insights. The first thing I want to say is at my age, I think it could have been tragic going this light today. Things are looking brighter but not damaged. Now regarding specifically the four in one step, when it comes to shine I'm gonna give it at least an eight out of ten. I do think that my hair looks pretty voluminous, at least more than it normally does. Definitely not flat at all. Now let's go with the cons or maybe the claims I'm not so impressed by. I'm gonna give it maybe a seven as far as smoothing the hair. Now keep in mind I did have very high expectations on one hand. On the other hand I had a really bleach intensive day. You know there's going to be more dryness and more frizz than usual. So also because this was the professional version of Olplex number eight I was expecting a little bit more smoothing power. So it 
it's not that it doesn't smooth the hair out it definitely does and I'm gonna give it maybe an 8 out of 10 when it comes to moisturizing I think I have tried other masks that have hydrated my hair a little bit more. I'm going to be reserving my Oplex 4-in-1 moisture mask for the days in which I bleach my hair just like today so that I can do a full routine that's just Oplex professional products. So basically using number one with the bleach, number two after I have my hair colored, uh, number four the shampoo, and finally completing the entire process with four in one. I'm going to do full Oplex, go with the full power and have that bonding technology even as I'm moisturizing the hair at the end. And of course I am going to continue using it. I'm going to try different things let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to do next with this mask or with any other product requests you may have I must confess right now I have a love-hate relationship with my bangs it's been quite a struggle to learn how to style them remember even though sometimes it feels like the Titanic keep smiling we need that energy in our lives and I will catch up with you guys again on my next one Do you want to follow? Click here.